Hey guys, in this video I want to go over some of the basics in the Wikidpad software and things that you should know. Let's get started. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to get started by creating a new wiki. When you create a new wiki, you cannot have any spaces. I'm going to call this new wiki, my new wiki. Next is going to ask you where you want to save your wiki. For now, I'm going to leave it as is on desktop. Then it's going to ask you what kind of database type and what wiki language you want. The two options already selected here are the standard. Go ahead and click OK. Now that we're here, let's go over some of the basics. First, in order to edit your wiki, you need to go into the editor view. In order to do that, come up here and click the switch editor preview button. This will change your view mode into editor mode. Now you can click and you can type anything you want. Now I'm going to enter down and on this line, we're gonna create a new wiki page, somewhere for us to do our work on. And I'm gonna name this my workspace. In Wikidpad, when you enter a word that begins with a capital letter and has a second capital letter inside of it, it is what you call a camel case word. Any camel case words in Wikidpad automatically become links to new pages. The tree here on the left will auto update with any new camel case words that you put into your page. If you don't want your words to appear as camel case words, another way to create links to new pages is to use brackets. So I'm going to create a new page called Go All In On Life. So I'm going to have an open bracket. I'm going to do this all caps. Go All In On Life. Close bracket. You can see here, the minute I close this bracket, the entire phrase is underlined. This means it was successfully turned into a link to a new page. And in a few minutes, the tree on the left will auto update with the new information. If you don't want to wait for it to auto update, go ahead and double click on your new link. And here, because we jumped to the go all in on life page, you can see that it populated here on the tree. Now that we're here at the page that I want to work on, I'm going to input some information. All right, now that we have some text here, we're going to want to go ahead and create some links. First, I want to create a link here at San Diego. Now the easiest way to do this is the keyboard shortcut Control J. So anything you have selected at the time when you press Control J will automatically place brackets around that word, turning it into a new link. You can also go in and manually place brackets around a word like I showed you before. So now the words San Diego and California have become wiki words or links to new pages. If we go back over to the tree, we can see that this plus sign here has appeared next to our page Go All In On Life. If we click on that you can see that San Diego has already populated in our tree. And in another minute, California will also populate in our tree. Now, I want to create a new page in reference to my siblings. However, I don't want the new page to be called siblings. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a bracket at the beginning of the word. Then I'm going to type the display name that I want for the new wiki. Now, to separate the display name, from the word I want displayed on this page, I'm gonna put in the vertical line. It looks like an L, but this is not an L. This is a vertical line. If I type the letter L next to it, you can see the two look very different. Once I have the vertical line dividing my desired new page name and my display, I'm gonna place another bracket at the end of the word. And that is going to turn this into a new link to a new page. If you wanna see what this looks like normally, in the preview mode, hit the keyboard shortcut Control shift space or go back up and click on the switch editor preview button. Now we can see here that San Diego has brackets around it. California also has brackets around it and the word siblings looks normal. However, if we look in our tree here on the left, we can see that family has been generated. California has also been generated and so has San Diego. The reason why these are not showing up as links yet is because these three pages have no information. So let's go back into our editor mode, control shift space, and let's add some new text under the family siblings page. Double click on that link. Here under the family page, type in some new information. Once you've typed in some information, go back and click on the go all in on life page or press the back button on your mouse. Now we see 
on our Go All In On Life page, the Family Siblings link is blue. So let's do the same thing for, for both San Diego and California. Now that we have inputted information for both San Diego, California, we can see that they have turned blue. Now if we go back to our preview by clicking the toggle button or using Control Shift Space, we can see that they have turned into links. Now here, even from preview, if I want to view the siblings page or the family page, all you have to do is click on it and it takes you directly to that page. Let's go ahead and save our work. Go up to the save button here and click save. Make sure that you're not pressing rename wiki word or delete wiki word. Another way to save your wiki is to press control S. And those are the basics. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos.